very, very bad. So this is Venus, and she is a four-year-old female lugger falcon. Now the first thing you'll notice about this bird that's different to the others straight away is she's wearing a little hat or a hood. Okay, now we put the hoods on the falcons because by nature they're quite highly strung and stressful. So as I'm playing around with her equipment now, if she didn't have her hood on, she would get very upset by it. When I put her on the post to do some flying, she would fly, but not to me, and as far as she could away from me. Now, distance is really no object with these birds if they do decide to fly off. So what I'm also going to do in a moment is attach a small radio tracking device to her leg. Now, it will allow me to follow her for around 10 to 20 miles behind her wherever she goes. Now that might seem like quite a long way, but she can cover that distance far quicker than we can in a car. She can go a lot further than that as well if she wanted to. So here's the trophy. Put that on her leg. There we go. Now, because she flies quite quickly, what we can't do is fly her backwards and forwards to the glove like I have done with the other two birds. If she was to come in and try and land on the glove on a nice windy day, um, there's a good chance that she could break my hand or my wrist. So what we're going to do, we're going to swing a leather bag or a leather lure around with her through the plastic here. Okay, she's going to come in, try and chase it and catch it from me. This is what was coming around. Now, recently she's been rather lazy. Okay, and she's got into a habit of taking off either post that I put her on and going to sit straight on there. So what I'm going to do today is going to put her on there to begin with. Now, she likes very windy days where she'll work very hard into the wind and then turn and use that wind behind her tail to pick up as much speed as possible. On days like today, she can be a little bit lazy. So if she doesn't do a lot of work, it's purely because of the conditions. But there we go. So we shall take her hood off, pop her over there, and we'll see what she can do for us today. She should take off relatively quickly in a moment. Work her way up and away from me. And with distance and height that she will gain, she will get more and more speed. And she's probably a bit me, saying, I usually fly straight to here. Why are we putting on here? Come on. Come on in. Do some work. She's saying it's a bit hot. I don't like this weather. Come on. Go. Okay, so we're going to. She'll keep on flying. What we don't want her to do is to stop. In this weather, there is always a chance that she will. Now we're not going to push her too hard today. We want her to keep trying for this lure, keep her going. Come on. We're going to give her a big shout, tell her to come in and catch it. Hoi! There we go. Okay, so not a massive amount of flying for us, but the main thing is, she hasn't stopped flying, she's worked very hard in these bad conditions. Now, she wasn't very quick today, okay, but on a windy day, again, with that wind behind her tail, she's coming in sort of twice as 